Uh, good morning. So, first of all, this video will be very important for you guys because uh, most of the formulas that are there in therm thermodynamics, you can actually learn it from a single diagram. Okay, so just play, uh, just pay close attention. It's very very easy. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> so we'll draw a square box first of all. Okay, like that, and we'll write over here entropy S. SP pressure volume temperature okay then in between uh, S and P we will write H then over here we will write G A and U okay U is internal energy H is the enthalpy right uh, this is gives uh, G is the Gibbs energy A is head moths function okay uh, so then what we do is now we draw a arrow from S to T okay and another one from P to V like this okay got it now first of all we'll uh, uh, derive the simple uh, relations the Maxwell relations so over here what you see is D uh, over here you see S and V okay so you can you write DS del S by del V okay so D del S by del V okay is equal to what is the opposite of S P so you write del P upon so what is the, just write see the opposite of S and V it's P and T right so del P by uh, del P by del D okay now if you see the arrow is going now oh if you see the numerator it's S okay so the, uh, if you see op, uh, the arrow the arrow is going from S to T so it's positive so you'll write and what is the opposite of s it's t so at constant temperature and what is the opposite of p now the arrow is going from p to v so this this term will also be positive and the uh, what is the opposite of the numerator it's volume so you'll write at constant volume so this is our first maxwell relation now let's go on to some other relation so now we'll take s and p so we'll write del s by del p what is the opposite of S and P? It's V and T. So you'll write del V by del T. Okay. And again, if you see the arrow is going from S to T, so constant temperature. And if you see volume now, so del V by del T. Now the arrow is going from P to V. And now we have to, now we are saying that in the numerator we have V. So now the arrow is going from V to P. So that means it's going in the opposite direction. So negative sign at constant pressure the second relation let's move on to the third one so we have this we have this and uh, okay then we can go on to uh, okay dv by dt at constant okay or we can go for dp by dt at constant g okay so dp by dt at constant g is equal to again ds by dv Uh, sorry made a mistake now let's say we want uh, dt by dv dt by dv so we write dt by dv okay and then opposite of t and v is p and s so we'll over here we'll write del p and del s okay and then if you see opposite uh, if you see this right so now the arrow is going from from s to t but we need to go from t to s so minus sign over here and uh, if you see and the constant will be the constant at constant s and if you see dp by ds now the arrow is going from p to v and that's exactly the direction we want so at constant volume okay and uh, then we have dt by dp okay so dt by dp what is the opposite of dt by dp v and s so you write del v by del s okay and then you see the numerator it's t uh, op so we are going from t to s so it's negative okay at constant s then if you see the numerator over here it's volume again we are going from v to p so again negative okay negative negative cancels out so what we get is del t 
by del p at constant s is equal to del v by del s at constant p right so this these are the four basic maxwell relations that we got now see it's simple it's super easy okay and it's also good for your university exams as well as your entrance exam so recently you know from from actual relations either an application based question comes or a direct question comes so that way it's very very easy it's uh, very important to uh, learn them right so this is one of the tricks uh, for learning the basic maxwell relations now coming on to the second one so we have h over here right so you just write it as del h okay and now see what is next to adjacent to h so we have a s and we have a p right so what you write is ds and dp okay again the same thing s is uh, opposite of s is t and the arrow is going from s to t right so you just write t ds and if you see p if we are going from p to v so plus v dp again if we come on to du so uh, adjacent to u we have s and v so we write ds and dv if you see for s again it's positive so tds but if you see for v it's the arrow is going from p to v but we need to go from v to p so again a negative sign minus pdv coming on to da da is equal to adjacent is dv and dt from again in v we are going in the opposite direction from we are going from uh, from v to p so minus minus p dv and in opposite of t is s and again the arrow is going from s to t but we need to go from t to s so minus s t t okay similarly if we write for dg try it yourself so you'll understand i am doing it anyway so dp and we have dt okay and uh, from p to v we are going so v dp and plus because we are uh, huh. uh, just a second we have a minus over here sorry because we are going from t to s and this arrow is going from s to t so minus s t t so these are our four relations so we derived eight formulas till now so four of four of these okay and four of these now let's move on to the next part Sometimes what happens is in the exam they ask you say del g by del uh, what do I say del g by del uh, t at constant p comma n and they give you four uh, values to uh, you know write so this this question for example came in gate 2016 so you just have to do, like in this case what you need to do is you identify g okay and you see in the denominator now it's t okay and it's at constant p comma n where p is the pressure n is the like basically it's a closed system so at constant p comma n means it's a closed system so there's no exchange of molecules basically okay so it's a closed system so del g by del t at constant p comma n so we have identified g and it's at constant p so in this case what you need to do is earlier you were finding opposite of a numerator over here you need to do nothing you see del g by del t at con constant p comma n you take the denominator t and see the opposite of t it's s okay and the arrow is going from s to t but we need to go from t to s so we just write over here minus s as simple as that okay let's say they ask you the opposite of this that is they ask you del g upon del p at constant t comma n now what is in the denominator we have p okay so opposite of p is v and the arrow is also going from p to v so nothing but v so simple right so this is a very important thing this this particular box and it's very easy to learn and you can actually derive all the formulas now let's move on to uh, chemical potential so let's move on to chemical potential okay these are quite rare they can come or they cannot but max relations definitely come uh so these are quite rare but we'll still still do it okay now this is exactly not exactly but a derivative of what we just derived so if they ask you what is the vary how, how does the chemical potential vary with temperature at constant pressure for a closed system 
okay so then it will be equal to minus s i bar so first of all again just go for the denominator Demo denominator is temperature opposite of temperature we have entropy right so opposite of temperature we have entro entropy but it's the sign is opposite because we are going from t to s and the arrow is from s to t so we have minus sign so we denote it by minus si bar where si is nothing but the partial molar uh, entropy for uh, a system with i components okay so from here we can say that the how so if the question says how does the chemical potential vary with temperature at, at a constant pressure for a closed system you can just say minus si bar or partial molar uh, entropy is it is equal to negative of partial molar entropy or you can ask or they can ask you del mu i how does the uh, basically chemical potential vary with the uh, say uh, pressure at constant temperature for a closed system then like we have derived over here volume so you can just write over here v bar where v is our partial molar volume okay where this can be denoted by del v by del n i n i is nothing but n number of uh, i number of n uh, basically n number of molecules sorry i number of molecules okay and this is at constant t comma p okay these were some of the tricks for your uh, uh, for your uh, exams uh, be it entrance exams or your uh, university exams because I remember I used to struggle a lot you know learning Maxwell relations uh, while I was there in my university uh, so I always had to derive them and that used to take a lot of time so had someone introduced me to this kind of uh, shortcut method I would have been really glad but anyway I am hopeful that this will be quite useful to you guys and uh, all the best.